Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you the proper way of pulling a vacuum on a HVAC system. This is my brand new Linux XC20 variable speed unit that I just got installed and I'm pulling a vacuum on this one today. If you look in the description down below, you'll see links uh, to a playlist, you know, for this particular unit uh, that shows the full installation and everything that I did to install this unit. So in this particular video, I'm going to be showing you the proper way of pulling a vacuum, so stay tuned. Okay, so here's my setup. As you can see, my three quarter inch hose comes in like this. I have two APIs right there, and I have two of these right here. Now you're probably wondering why do I have all this craziness here? Uh, well, if you had a small pipe, you could have used that here, but you know, I don't have that handy right now. So I just use these two. I don't really need the valves. You know, I just wanted to make a straight connection. And the reason is there's not enough room. There's not enough clearance on this particular unit that I couldn't really fit any of these in there. So I really need to have made that bend, you know, so I can come out and connect my meter. Um, on this side, I just use this, you know. Um, I know they're not rated for vacuum, but I've had pretty good luck with these. You know, they work pretty pretty well uh, holding a vacuum. So uh, I have that connected over here. So this is, this setup is supposed to pull vacuum pretty fast because now you're pulling it from both sides you know I have a ballast on this I'm just gonna loosen the ballast before I start the pump and then I'll, I'll close it with that let me turn my gauge on okay my meter is on and it'll tell us how many macro microns we're gonna be pulling in so that let me turn the pump on there you go makes more sense okay right now I'm at 830 okay so my vacuum is down I stopped at 460 microns as you can see on the gauge and uh, you know it's hovering around there and I turned the pump off so this is my final setup as you can see I had to move the black hose over here I think I had a better um, fade this way for some reason when the, I was uh, leaving this off sorry this valve on it was vacuuming out pretty fast you know but when I used to turn it off to measure it on the gauge for some reason it was giving me oddball reading so what I did was I just end up turning this side off and I only pulled the vacuum from the top side on this on this one so it took a it, it took a while because uh, I can't really remove the shader valve in there only because of the way it's oriented there's no way I can put this apion tool here and then be able to put the valve back on after I pull the vacuum so this uh, particular unit it's a little tricky you know that I was not able to find another way of me pulling a uh, vacuum with the Schrader valve removed so the ones that you see over there is from these guys you know so I already have the Schrader valves, uh, valves in there installed there's I couldn't find any other way guys you know so you know it, it, normally in the other units you have plenty of room to work with you know it's kind of in the open in this particular Linux system it is kind of uh, stuck in there so but anyways, I was able to do it, uh, you know, this way. That kind of worked for me. So now I think I'm ready to release the gas in the system. I'm just going to wait for a few more minutes and then come back and release it. Okay, after I turned the pump off, it kind of stabilized and you can see the pressure. Um, the vacuum dropped a little bit more. So now I'm at 420 microns, which is uh, great. I'm happy with it. And it's been holding. I have uh, this valve turned off. And I have this valve turned off, so there's no connectivity to the pump and it's holding the vacuum right from the line itself. So I think at this point I'm ready to release the Freon and before uh, I do that, you want to make sure you turn this off. Because you don't want any vacuum going to your vacuum uh, gauge because uh, this is only designed for negative pressure, not positive pressure, so you don't want to be injecting any kind of thing in there so now i think i'm ready and isolated from the outside system i'm just going to turn this on and see if the meter reads the proper vacuum and i think it should 
happy. That's just to show you guys that it does, you know, it's just act a little back even you isolate that from the system. But uh, I think at this point I am ready. And uh, you definitely don't want to undo any of the connections because once you do that, it may suck in some air, you know, and then you may lose your uh, actual vacuum. So you want to avoid that at all cost. Remove this. And just double check yourself one more time to make sure this valve is off, your meter is off, and this one is off. And now we're ready to release the vacuum, so I'm going to go ahead and open this, and open this, and then we'll be good to release uh, gas into the line uh, that is stored in the compressor. So you can see this is a different type of valve, and uh, this type of connector won't not work in here. You can see it's completely different, so I can just use a, something like this. The room in this unit is very small, so you to be careful. You want to make sure this is the right. There we go. I'm releasing pressure in the system. Now the line is filled with gas. Okay, now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is do the other one. Make sure you backseat it all the way up. There you go. Just backseat it up. I'm gonna go ahead and close this guy. Then also close this guy. I'm going to make sure you tie these. Okay. Now I think I'm ready to disconnect everything, connect my gauge and check the pressure. Please like and subscribe.